Ken here, the unemployed pop guy. Oops, I'm employed again. We're back uh, in the theater. So today we're going to talk about my prop box for going on stage. Um, let's open it up first. So I have a lovely lock. I don't need a combination. And here it is. Ta-da! Uh, every prop uh, master or prop person uh, that works in the theater usually has an area where they work. And this is my area on stage, out of the way, where if I have to do repairs or build something or make something or relax, store things, um, they do. So this is one I created for myself. Um, it's powered uh, for charging. It has a lighting system, so... Uh, oh, you know, RGB lighting, so I could do any color I want. Blue is our show running light, so I usually have it blue. If I need a little blast of more light, I have a little beam there. And I have all the different drawers and cabinets in it for storage. Um, and it could be locked up, obviously. Uh, some of the different features, um, my personal one is, uh, I'm usually the armor when we do shows, so I need a place to lock. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, being in armor. So yeah, on and, um, and shows I have my ammunition and guns. And I need a place to lock them up. Uh, so I have this little setup for to lock valuables and anything else. Um, so yeah, uh, what else? Um, it's just storage for different things. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? We got my drawer for measuring stuff. Um, calipers, old school measuring, tape measures, uh, you know, square. Uh, well, this is a fun little cheap item. It's a Harbor Freight. has all the little security screws and whatnot that you always need when you're taking something apart. Uh, my 100 foot tape, uh, you know, a laser, which I just used today for uh, doing a number line on stage in a curved stage. It came in really handy. Yeah, this door, for some reason, does that. It wants to close on me. Um, let's see. So I got my different tapes, you know, uh, screws, hardware, chain, just miscellaneous junk, um, hand tools, uh, screwdrivers, adjustable spanner, my markers, pencils, sharpies, um, you know, my exacto blade cutters, uh, you know, meter, Sandpaper, hot glue gun, uh, sharpening stone for knives. Uh, one of the other cool features I have is, you know, I have my, I'm hanging out on stage and I need to cut out a sticker or whatnot. I have my table. On this side, I have the uh, self-healing uh, self pad for cutting. And then if I turn it around, it becomes... My work table for paperwork and whatnot for drawing um yeah so sorry about that once again actors cutting through our prop shop they love cutting through our shop um okay so up here is just more storage you just quick throws you know magnetic strip to, you know for stuff and uh you know drills power rechargeables, whatnot. Um, see, let's look at the doors, because I love doors and for storage. So, let's see what we got. Okay, so on this side, um, these were originally set up for spray can bottles, spray paint, um, but because it's not a fire, 
safe and it's not uh, uh, raided. Uh, I had to take out all flammables. So now I just keep, you know, some paint and glue and cleaning supplies and whatnot. And it's very empty because it's been 529 days since we were in the theater. So um, I took a lot of the stuff home before uh, we went dark. Um, let's look on the other side. Shoo. Okay, there you go. There you go. So on this side, I have my hand sanitizer because I'm kind of a germaphobe and touching props or whatnot. It's safe now with COVID. It's a great thing. Um, just different things like these are NASA shares, ones that the astronauts used uh, in the Apollo um, period. And it's good for cutting uh, thicker material and whatnot. Uh, you know, bamboo pole for attaching a paintbrush to get into those touch up areas that you can't reach. Toothpick holder, cause you know, gotta have toothpicks. Um, you know, T-square, stuff like that. Let's go down, zoom in. Okay, so uh, this is my hot glue dispenser. So I need hot glue, Let's grab my hot glue sticks. And then put them back in there. Um, oh yeah, this little thing. This is a great little jig. Here, let me show you what I do with this. Okay. So I take out one of the drawers, put this, in, tighten it up, and this becomes a jeweler's cutting block. I grab my jeweler saw. And I could take, you know, a piece of material, whatnot. Let's just pretend there's a piece of wood or metal. Put it on there. I have a way to work. Uh, stuff. What else? I love these things I have on here. Just different things like, oh, let's get over here. Oh, okay. You know, Japanese back saw, which is great for cutting dowel rods on stage or whatnot. And I like seeing a lot of my tools. I like having things like, oh, I need that, I need to grab that. Um, these are coffin locks in them, so when I'm transporting them, I may have said that already. I've made this video a few times. Um, yeah, so. Like I said, this is my box with plenty of storage. It could grow a little bit. I, I'm still not finished with it because, you know, it's one of those things that you keep on figuring out your needs for what you want to do. And, you know, I may do some on top, build an actual little thing that could go on top and I could take it off for transport. Um, yeah, yeah, this is uh, my onstage box, like I said. Um, and it's a, uh, the good thing about it, depending on how you set up your area, it becomes a little hidey hole and uh, uh, nobody bothers you until they find you and then everybody asks you for a favor or something. But that's the life of being a prop person. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything else to talk about. Um, I gotta go back, I gotta actually bring it on stage now and go back to work because we're back. Bye-bye uh, COVID, hopefully you stay away from us. And uh, good luck with everybody else out there. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Ciao.